Hey everyone, it's Nash Walk Steve here. Today's project is gonna be hopefully a pretty easy one. We're gonna switch out the brake pads on this 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan. Um, I got myself some brake pads here from Amazon, Bosch, ones that match the make and model of what I'm gonna be doing here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by first jacking up the vehicle and getting this tire taken off and we'll take a look at what we have. All right, here we have the brake rotor and the caliper assembly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in the vehicle and turn it to the left to make this um, kind of come out so we have better access to it and then we can look at what we have to remove to get at those pads. All right, here's what we have looking at it straight on. Uh, I'm going off my memory here. I believe I only need to remove these half inch bolts here and here to hold the caliper pins in place. And that should loosen up this caliper assembly and I can get the brake pads out. Um, if I, that doesn't do it, I can't remember. I don't think I need to, but there's a 13 16 back here. And then one down below back there. That may have to come off as well, but I think that's only if I'm gonna do the rotor and, and I need to get this bracket off. But we're gonna start with these and then we'll see what we've got. Okay, with those two half inch bolts out, I'm able to work this back and forth a bit. It should come right off like that. So you see the pads are left on there in place. We can easily get those out. And then I've got the uh, little piston assembly here that I need to get back in place as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a hanger so I can hang this up um, and get it kind of out of my way and we'll get to those brake pads. Next. Some wire I had laying around the shop and tied this up here so it wouldn't be in the way. And then while I have it here, I'm gonna go ahead and retract that cylinder um, so we can get it around the new uh, brake pads that we put in. Uh, so the first thing you do for that is up ahead here, you wanna just open up your um, power brakes, uh, your fluid reservoir here for your, your brake fluid. That'll, it's just loose in here. Um, that'll allow you to retract those without any pressure. And then I have a big C-clamp here that I'll be using, and then a wood block that I'll just place in there and then get the clamp all around it and I can just push this in gently and that'll push the fluid back into the reservoir, giving us clearance to get it on the new pads. I'll get that set up and show you what it looks like. So here's my setup. I've got the C-clamp here with a block of wood um, pressing on that plunger there to retract that cylinder. Just clamping it on here and then give it a few turns and you'll see all of these folds here in the rubber kind of retracting into each other. And then once you get all the way in, you'll know you're flush there and you'll have room for the new pads to go on. All right, got that plunger all the way retracted there. It's flush with the folds in the rubber there. And then uh, now we're gonna look at these pads here. There is some life left on them. You can see right there, there's some meat left, but I was getting one and it must not have been on this side that was making some noise. So we decided just to go ahead and replace all four of them. So these should, um, with a little bit of maneuvering, slide out of there. Um, slots they're they're held in on these just they ride on these clips here they should just slide out i'm gonna need two hands to get them out so i'm gonna do that and then we can put the new clips on all right i was able to get these pads off with some wiggling um just something to take note the inner pad has this little tab on it here which is a wear indicator so when it gets down to it it's supposed to squeak and let you know that it's about time to change your pads you can see that I'm not at the point of it actually making contact yet. So these pads certainly didn't need to be replaced on this side, but if I'm gonna do one, may as well do all four. So um, then you look at this here where you've got these clips, it'll save you some time if you note how these are in, how these are aligned. There's little tabs here, and this is a little tab to help you install it. Um, if, you, if they don't fall out and you can take note of how they are or take a picture, it's a good idea because you'll get brand new ones like this. And it's always nice to know where the tabs belong. It looks like this one would go down here. It would fit that with that little flare tab. Um, just save you some headache if you can do that. So I'm gonna get these out, clean up everything, and then we'll snap the new ones in place. 
All right, I got the tabs snapped in place there. You can see. Um, before I put those in, I did take a screwdriver and just kind of scraped away a little bit of the surface rust on the inside of there. Um, just so they go down to pretty close to bare metal. Um, then they give you uh, a little packet of grease that comes with it here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that open and just put a little bit in each of these. Then I'll go ahead and slide the new brake pads in, which are right down there. Okay, so as you can see, I got this one in nice and easy. This one wasn't as easy. Um, I've had, a, had trouble getting it to fit in the clips there. Um, I took the clips off a couple times and re-cleaned out where the clips go. Try to scratch away as much rust as I possibly could. And then I got it close and I was able to take a, a hammer and tap on that little kind of nub there in that area and get this to slide in. So now both of them are in there. That looks good, looks like they're lined up. Now we'll take this um, cylinder again, we'll unhook it from the wire I'm hanging it from, and we'll put it over top of here and see how that fits back in place. All right, so that clamp went on nice and easy. You can see that there's still a gap here between the cylinder and the pads, so that's good. Um, we'll get that taken care of as we um, pump up the system again. Uh, these bolts went in just fine, nice and easy. Um, I don't know what the torque spec is on them. I'm sure you could look it up online. I know it is not as high as this one. Um, that one's got a pretty high torque spec. It's always hard to break those loose, but we'll go ahead and tighten this one down pretty well. Um, then we can put the cap on the reservoir up there. Where are we? There we go. And then we can get the cylinder extracted a little bit. All right, those bolts are tight, so we're gonna get that cap back in place. We'll go in the vehicle here. And with the ignition on, we should be able to pump that brake a few times until it gets firm again, letting us know that that cylinder has come out again. It's right away, it goes almost all the way to the floor. We'll keep doing that until it starts to firm up. Okay, now it's not getting much distance of travel. Looking better and better. Feels pretty firm now, like normal. So I think we're probably in pretty good shape. We'll take a look. And just like we hoped, that cylinder has closed the gap there. So we've got um, pressure on the brakes when we use the brake pedal. And we're looking pretty good for this part of the job. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that tire back on and we'll move on to the other side. If you're like me and used a wire to hang your part of your brakes from. Maybe we'll, we'll make sure you get that out of there so you don't have an issue with it later.
So as you can see, not too bad of a job. The hardest part was just getting the um, new pad to fit within those clips. It was a pretty tight fit, but we got it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now. If I come across anything that's interesting or any pointers, I'll point them out. Um, but I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow because you can see that it's uh, getting dark here as I'm having to use some artificial light just to finish out this video. So tomorrow we'll hit it and finish out the job. Quick update I'm doing the other side here. This would be the passenger side. This inside uh, brake pad was kind of like the other side. It was tougher to get in. So I cleaned it out as best I could before the clips were in place. And then uh, got the clips in, got the grease on, and I, I got one end in and had to tap the other one in with a hammer just by, again, pounding right kind of on that little nub right there. And then it went in. So now I'm gonna do the other side. And hopefully that one's easier, just like it was on the driver's side. Something I'm going to mention is when I got these brake pads off, these were not the culprit either. So whatever the squeaking sound that we heard when braking was, it wasn't from these pads. You can see these had a lot of life on them yet. Not even close to getting to where the wear indicator would squeak. Same thing with this outer pad here. Pretty good life. So if I'm going to chase that squeak down, it's not going to be coming from these brakes. So anyway, regardless, I get the job done. Got new brakes on, or we'll have new brakes on, and you can at least see the video of it. But... We'll finish this up and show you what it looks like all done. All right, that's pretty much a wrap on this project. I'm just going to put these last few lug nuts on and get this um, van back on all four wheels here. Um, hopefully that was informative for you, and if you have a project like this, hopefully it helps you out a little bit. Thanks for watching.